Hello everyone, I'm Rodney from 3DGamingMan.com and today I'm looking at the NZXT, or if you prefer, NZXT Kraken X41 Liquid CPU Cooler. It comes in this great looking box, it also has this plastic wrap on it, pictures as well as features and specifications about the product on it. Now let's open it up and see what's inside. It comes shipped like most products these days in this environmentally friendly packaging material. That's a good thing, right? We all want to save the planet. A quick installation guide if you want a detailed one, you can download it from their website at nzxt.com slash manuals slash kraken41. Included is a bag full of screws and brackets. This will pretty much get you set up either on an AMD or an Intel socket. Supports all of the current ones. Here's the unit itself. I need to be careful taking this out because I don't want this protective cap here on the water block to come off. The radiator has this sheath over it, cardboard. I'll take this out of the bag. So this plastic cap just protects the water block, plus it helps keep the already applied thermal compound on it. And there's a little note on the other side, connect pump power before turning on. That would be a very good thing to do. As well included, is a 140 millimeter fan. Okay, so let's get on with the video review. Now you're probably wondering what the name Kraken stands for. Well, probably not, but guess what? I'm going to tell you anyway. It's some kind of legendary gigantic sea monster that causes these large whirlpools off the coast of Norway. And that's kind of fitting, isn't it? For an all-in-one liquid CPU cooler. The X41 is compatible with all current AMD and Intel motherboards, but I will list on the screen the ones that it is compatible with. So if you're picking this up, you know for sure that it is going to fit. Now these AL or advanced liquid coolers, also referred to as AIOs or all-in-one coolers, are completely sealed so there's no maintenance required and this means no refills are needed and virtually no risk of leaks. Also, since it's completely configured, there's no need for any extra installation. A little interruption here in this video review to bring you a word from my sponsor Antec. They currently have a new power supply line, the Edge series. They come in three different models. 550 watt, 650 watt, and 750 watt. You can check them out at www.antech.com. Now, back to the video review. By combining the water block, pump, reservoir, and radiator together, it really reduces the traditional four component loop into just one component, which of course substantially decreases the space required for installation and it really simplifies the installation process over a traditional water cooling setup. Now the pump, reservoir, cold plate, as well as the electronics are housed into this compact unit and the variable speed pump that's used is a state-of-the-art ultra quiet and it is covered along with the entire unit for six years. Remember, most of these coolers only come with a one or two year warranty. Also the pump cap this at the top, you can kind of see it right here, lights up, yes, it has this neat integrated hue controlled LED which can be adjusted by software. The CPU block is all copper and it has an excellent finish so it will make fantastic contact between it and the CPU, plus it comes with a thin coat of thermal compound and that takes the guesswork out of applying it yourself. They include a 140 millimeter radiator but note that this isn't a copper rad but rather an aluminum rad which is still fine and it has lots of fins. Oh and if you're wondering how this compares to the X 40, well it's 24% thicker and that should mean better performance. Note that if you're considering a 120 millimeter all-in-one, personally uh, I wouldn't recommend it in most cases because for example this one has 36% more area than a 120 millimeter rad. They include the new FX V2 140 millimeter PWM fan. You can get another one optionally and of course that should mean better performance. The fan itself comes with these rubber bumpers on either side so if you're mounting it to the radiator and the case you're not going to 
to get any vibrations. Now, how should the fan be mounted? Push or pull? That's really up to yourself, but I would recommend pulling in cool air from outside the case. So in that particular situation, you'd mount it like so. Pull in the cool air from the outside, blow it across the radiator, provided of course that you have adequate cooling inside of the case to get rid of the warm air. The fan has a nice sleeved lead and a four pin connector. The tubes are very flexible but durable and they were designed with large tower cases in mind because they are 400 millimeters or 16 inches in length. As well, the system is filled with coolant that is safe, environmentally friendly and anti-corrosive. Now there's a bunch of connectors here. We've got a pass through for one of the fans that they include. You connect it like so. If you have another one, you can mount it on the rad and then connect it here. There's a three pin power connection as well as a USB connection. Now they include software with this unit and it's pretty darn impressive. It's called Cam and it helps monitor and control performance and allows customization of the LED. It's designed to unlock the maximum potential of the cooler and they also have Cam mobile software. Mmm! And this allows you to monitor the temperatures, adjust the fan speeds, and the pump colors from your phone. First have a listen to just the pump, but after that I'll turn on the pump and the fan. And now have a listen to the pump and the fan, but remember the fan is at full speed. Now personally, if I was recommending a 140 millimeter all-in-one liquid CPU cooler to a friend, this wouldn't be at the top of my list because it has all of the important ingredients. Great fan, good radiator. It's aluminum, I know, it's not copper, but hey, you get what you pay for. Flexible tubes, a great pump, and a wonderful smooth copper water block. Plus, it comes with software, looks fantastic as well a six year warranty. I mean, you can't go wrong. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.